Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Seb and today I'll try to teach you as much as possible about sharpening your reaction times, quickening your reflexes and improving your aim in Warframe's Conclave. Or anywhere else, really. First off, reaction time is highly dependent on genetics and can only be improved by around 20% or so. But there's no need to panic, since there's more than just reaction times at play when it comes to shooters, as you'll soon see. A person's reaction time is generally between 200 and 300 milliseconds, and is usually never slower than 400. Here you can measure your reaction time's average, I'll post the link in the description below as well. Do take into account that your monitor and mouse both add a few extra milliseconds due to input delay. Some TVs that people game on may add up to an extra 50 milliseconds, something you probably shouldn't be gaming on and expecting to be competitive, if you ask me. Warframe's PvP involves a lot of movement, especially with the newer Parkour 2.0, and to remain competitive you always have to be on the move. Hesitating or even stumbling for half a second will cost you your HP bar in a lot of situations. But there's a very nice trick which can quickly help you navigate around better, and the best part is, it takes but a few minutes to achieve this. First, let me explain the idea behind this. Anyone here who drives a car and likes speed is more than familiar with the concept I'm about to tell you. So, you're going down the highway fairly fast, paying attention to traffic, to road, to the signs and whatnot. And after driving for like 15 to 20 minutes, you exit the highway and you're now driving at around 90 km per hour on normal roads, which is still fairly fast. But all of a sudden it feels so slow, as if nothing is testing your brain anymore. You could easily react to anything the road throws at you. That's something called overspeed training, and using this I'll explain how to apply it in Warframe. Now the only downside to this, for maximum results anyway, is that it requires a volt as much power strength duration and efficiency as you can master and a rush mod. Or a Porsman choice would be a Loki Prime with rush and a sprint boost aura, but that's less effective. Now equip your vault with the mentioned mods, go to a deception or capture mission of your choice, use speed at all times and try rushing to the mission as fast as possible. Don't bother with killing anything since it's pointless, kind of like this. What you should focus on is trying to not collide with stuff. Go as smooth and as fast as possible, be it on the ground or through the air while also paying attention to the map. Do that on three different tile sets, or until it feels like what you're doing doesn't pose a challenge anymore, and then go and PvP. Movement will come to you naturally because you can easily anticipate what you should do next without thinking much, which allows your brain to more easily focus on the combat and tracking the enemy's movements more accurately. One trick that can keep you mobile at all times and is very easy to execute is that you can do a small slide step by tapping control while you're still aiming, which will propel you in the direction of your choice and is very useful when firing slow fire rate weapons since it gives you more windows of opportunity to shoot back at your opponent while also messing with their aim. But simply avoiding damage and being quick on your feet won't get you anywhere if you don't also return fire. First of all, different people are better with different weapons. I, for example, suck with auto rifles. My aim is horrible and no matter what I do, improving it is incredibly hard. At least in Warframe anyway. But on the other hand, I'm usually really good with high damage single shot weapons at mid to close ranges. So before getting angry at yourself, first try out all the different weapon types the game has to offer. And I'm more than certain you'll find a weapon type that suits you perfectly. Ok, let's see, so, snapping onto a target is how fast you aim your cursor and camera in the general direction of your target, so that the crosser is on the enemy or in very close proximity. Tracking is the ability to keep the aim on your target after you snapped onto it, as long as the target doesn't break out of your snap and forces you to resnap. I, for example, am a good snapper but a bad tracker. Here's an example of this, as you can see, I quickly turn my camera and stop roughly close to my target's position take a few shots, but can never really keep the cursor on the target for a long period of time. Here is an example of bad snapping. As you can see, as long as you dance around the bad snapper, it will be hard for him to hit you, even with a full auto weapon. And here you can see me being a horrible tracker. Yeah, that's bad. Usually good snappers make for good shotgun users, while good trackers make for good sniper users. 
A nice trick that helps with snapping in a Warframe environment is the following. First, get an accurate single shot weapon, like a Leto, Lex, Vasto or a Magnus. Go to any mission and on every sharp corner that you see coming up, quickly run and mark a target in your brain. No bigger than a Warframe though. Now go back and slide into the corner, and try to hit the target you marked as soon and as accurate as possible. And try not to pre-aim. Practice that and it should, in theory, help your ability to snap onto targets and improve your accuracy while also remaining mobile. Equipping the enemy sense aura, going invisible while using a bow and doing the same trick just that you're actually trying to hit enemies this time works roughly the same. This also helps with landing your bow shots. However, the best way to improve your accuracy, especially with weapons that have travel time on their projectiles, is to just practice, practice and practice. Now, for all the melee lovers out there, I'm happy to inform you that your skill will improve naturally as you master the game's movement system more and more. But, there are certain weapons that are better than others in PvP, for example, if you can keep up with your target, using a dagger with the Heartseeker mod from Teshin will much more easily allow you to keep the lock onto your target. But if you really have to win, and I'll probably regret saying this, you can always equip a hammer, run near your target and do a jump attack, which will knock down the target, allowing for a very quick and easy kill, especially if you use a shotgun. You can also do this with any weapon that can knock down, but watch out, missing your target with the jump attack will expose you to a counter attack very easily. But all I've said can swiftly go down the drain if your gaming machine simply isn't up for the task. I won't talk about low FPS, since that's pretty obvious how it impacts your aim. But instead... Have you ever tried sniping someone at grid distance when they're but a few pixels wide on the screen? And no matter how hard you tried, you simply couldn't properly place your crosshair over the target? That's most likely because your screen's resolution, alongside your mouse's sensitivity, is impairing you greatly from doing so. A small screen resolution paired with a low DPI or dots per inch mouse makes your aim go everywhere when trying to fine-tune a shot. You might want to think about upgrading if that's your particular problem. And trust me, it makes a bigger difference than you think. Okay, so those are the most important points to take into consideration from all of this. Practicing and playing the game will, in time, also help you improve naturally. And don't worry, you'll get there. Everyone does eventually. Okay then, hopefully this was useful information and I hope that it will help you improve in Warframe. Have a nice day and I hope to see you all next time.